Fernanda with Jinx here at Helen Woodward Animal Center. While we weren't able to hold our very popular surf dog lessons this summer due to COVID-19, we did want to share with you some tips and tricks for getting your dog out on the surfboard this summer. When it comes to surfing dogs, you want to remember SoCal from our friends at SoCal Surf Dogs. First is S for sweet spot. The surfboard has a sweet spot for your dog to stand on located just above the fins at the back of the board. If your dog moves too far forward off the sweet spot, the board will nosedive. Next is O for orientation. This refers to the position your board should be in as you're walking out to the surf spot. Your board should always be either nose out or nose in, never parallel to the beach. To maintain control of the board, that's C, you should always stand at the back of the board and place your dominant hand at the tail. Remember, don't hold on to your dog, you should let them balance on their own. A is for advance. With your dog on the sweet spot with the board pointing nose out while controlling the nose from the back, you can begin to advance. To easily get over the waves, push the tail down into the water, lifting the nose up slightly above the white water, allowing the board to float over the top of the waves. Finally, it's time to launch. When you see the wave that you want to catch, start advancing toward the beach as the wave catches up to you. Pressure the tail down slightly, lifting the nose to prevent the board from nose diving. As the wave catches up to you, gently and smoothly launch the board into the wave. Before you get your dog out on the water, it's important to remember some safety tips. First, do the Stingray Shuffle. Also, never leash your dog to the board, and make sure your dog always wears a life jacket while out on the water. If your dog's having a hard time staying on the board, you can start out by training your dog on flat water, in the bay, or in a river mouth. This way, they can practice their balance without the waves. You can also practice getting your dog accustomed to standing on the board by putting treats on the board and having them practice getting on on dry land. Remember, not all dogs are born to be surf dogs and that's perfectly fine. It's all about having fun and there's many other ways to have a bonding experience. With everything you've just learned, don't forget to sign up your surfing dog for the 2020 Surf Dog Surfathon and fetch a wave to save a life. Just head to animalcenter.org for all the details.